Hey YouTube, so we're back at it again with another video. That was another video. <laughs> it's not Jay. Hey YouTube, so we're back at it again with another video. Today we'll be doing assumptions people heard about us so we don't really have that many assumptions but we're just going to address the assumptions that people have and we're just going to get right into the video okay. okay so number one for Najee is i'm older than i am so i asked people like what like what was your first impression of me and people were like when they first met me, they thought that I was older than I was. When I was a freshman, some people thought that I was like a junior or something. For one, I got cut back, so I am older than other children. But I also am just like, I'm, I'm tall and I'm thick, so I can be mistaken as older. So, I guess people just think I old, I'm older than I am. But a lot of people think sometimes I'm younger, which is confusing. I guess it depends on what I wear and what my hairstyle is. People always say I'm younger than what I am. Maybe like 12, cause I'm like short and skinny. And I, I like wearing my hair, you know, natural like ponytail, you know. What should we have two ponytails? That's like the number one. Oh, you're young. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two for Najee is bougie. So, I don't know why everybody mistake me as bougie. Like, like a lot of people have actually called me that, like, throughout the years. But I like to think of it as having high expectations. It is nothing wrong with having high expectations and just not liking certain things. I feel like that doesn't make me bougie. Like, I've met some bougie people. Like, i met people that, like, go to restaurants and they have to get hot water and they put their silverware in the hot water and they steam it and wipe it off their souls before they eat. I know people that's so bougie that they don't use the same towel more than a week. For more than a week. Number three for Najee is me. So, a lot of people say that they like think I was mean. But like, People think that when they don't know me, I guess. Like, I mean, I guess when you get to know me, you can know I have a mean side to me. But, but before people meet me, they think that I mean, based on, like, my face, I guess. I look mean. But, I mean, that's my face. I'm sorry that my face offends you. I mean, I find it as a blessing and a curse. A curse because, like, people want to be scared to approach you. They're going to already have, like... Like, their idea of who you are implanted in their head, which is going to, like, change what could possibly become a friendship. And also, like, like them thinking I'm mean. I don't know. It can already just, like, it can have them mugging at me or something like that. Like, um, ain't like that. Huh? Girl, just read it. Uh, another assumption about Najee is that she's not like them. So by that, she means that people think that I don't like them. Okay, listen. Just because I'm not in your face 24-7, I'm not, hey girl, da -da -da -da. I'm not hitting your phone every day, I'm not geek to have a conversation with you doesn't mean I don't like you. I'm just, that's just how I am. I'm chill. Like, I'm be cool in it. Like, like if I just meet you, I'm not about to be all, hey, how you doing? Because if people do that to me, I find that weird, personally. So I don't do that to other people. That don't mean I don't like you. And then, like, if you don't talk to me because you think I'm mean or, like, you think I don't like you, so that's why you don't talk to me, I'm going to just think you weird. So I'm just not going to talk to you. That don't mean I don't like you. I like it. There's a few weird people I like. I, mean, I might not talk to them 24-7. But 
No, they just might be. Another assumption about not J is that she's real cool. So, a lot of people think that I'm real cool, and they're right. <laughs> they're absolutely right. I am cool, cool, cool beans. I mean, it's sometimes where I can lose my cool, but it takes a, a lot for me to lose my cool, to be honest. Like, mm, yeah, it takes me a lot. Like, it gotta take, like, constant bothering. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I have to lose my cool with you just for us to be cool. Like, but it don't take, like, I, I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty chill. Like, I don't know. I got a different size to me. It depends on what type of friend you are. But overall, in public, I'm pretty chill. The first assumption about me is that she's mean and quiet. Um, I am quiet. Uh, I don't talk for real. I mean, yeah. Uh, mean, I'm not mean. Um, yeah. It's just like sometimes I can be, but some people take like, um, like what I say, cause I'm like really honest a lot. So they take what I say like as me, like, I don't know. And then like when people see me, like my face is like, you know, a resting, you know, B face. And so people fake act like they was like scared to talk to me or whatever. I don't know why, but I'm a pretty nice person when you meet me. Yeah. Um. Another one for me is <laughs> you don't do anything in relationships. Okay. <laughs> yeah okay i mean for a long time i haven't like i wasn't really into the relationship thing i wasn't like i didn't want to do that you know that's just not me but now whatever that's what i'm saying uh Why you keep asking me? Cause look at what it says. What does that even mean? Not Jay talks to other people. Oh, not much. Well, you can. That's an assumption. Okay. I guess. Another assumption is not Jay talks to other people when she is mad. So I know. Some people think I told people when I'm mad, <coughs> <laughs> but I actually don't. The fact that you, um, I don't know. The fact that the only time you see me mad is in a certain situation tells you that I literally don't talk to you when I'm mad. Cause you, if you think that like that's the only thing that makes me mad, and I talk about that, then I literally don't talk to other people when I'm mad. Cause I'm. There is a lot of things in the world that makes me mad. And I just keep it to myself because I'm a self-reflecting person. And I like to, like, I like to get myself together and have, and, like, gather my thoughts on myself. And sometimes I like to talk to Javay when I'm mad. Like, that's the main person I talk to when I'm mad. But I don't, like, I really, that's not the first, my first result is not to talk to other people. Um, in certain situations, it's, it's this one person that I do talk to about people too. But it's only because it's been going on for a while. Like everybody know. The person know. I mean, it's it's our friends. Who don't talk to their friends about their problems? If you can't, then it's not your friends. But I don't consider that like always when I'm mad. Like that's just that one situation that's repeatedly making me mad and everybody knows. So we just it just comes up and I talk about it. But it's definitely that's definitely one out of a million things that I'm ever mad about that I literally don't talk to people about. People don't know the actually the Facts. biggest things that I'm mad about nobody even knows but me. Facts. Okay. An assumption for me is you speak your mind to females but not to males. Um, so for this one, I feel like 
they heard it from somebody else. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. They heard it from somebody else, so they try to hop on the bandwagon. <laughs> but um, I speak my mind to females. I do. It depends on the male if I say something or not. So yeah, me females is like. I can fight female. I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying, yeah. Males, I mean, I can fight them too. It don't matter, but I most likely wouldn't, you know. That's all. Okay, um, another assumption for me is that I start stuff and and I am problematic. <laughs> um one i don't start stuff um i'm typically i'm typically a quiet person so like i don't really start stuff if it's not with a specific person then i don't typically start stuff um so yeah and i'm not problematic at all usually problems come to me only due to the fact that I don't know some people have issues with me people I don't really know be having issues with me so yeah um and I got a lot of that I mean not true that's all I gotta say um another assumption about me is that they heard that I'm gay I am not I'm not gay. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot of people thought this for a long time because, like I mentioned earlier, like I didn't really do relationships, get into relationships. Um, I wasn't doing like bo like I wasn't really talking and associating with boys a lot, unless like they're like really, really my friend, like strictly my friend, like people I knew for a while. Um, yeah, I didn't really do relationships. Uh. I've never let somebody meet my family or anything. So, yeah, a lot of people thought I was gay. I'm not. I'm in a relationship now. I'm not gay. The relationship is with a dude. So, yeah. Um, The last one they just say that you're bougie. Like, people kept saying that, too. Well, people keep... Another person said I was bougie. Like I said, like, I mean, let, 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 I'm gonna let you think I'm bougie. At least you know I got expectations. Mm -hmm. It's good to have expectations. And not, not necessarily held yourself high, but like to know your self worth and what you deserve. I mean, I don't understand, like, why people say I'm bougie, though. Like, it's not like I, like, I don't know, I don't think it, it's nothing I do extreme. Everything I do is normal. Maybe because you got a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe because I got a lot of stuff and, like, I mean, I, I guess I got, I got money for my age. And I, I got a lot of grind, honestly. Like, if it wasn't for my grind, I wouldn't have money. Like, yeah, my mother give me money, but all the stuff you see in my room, all these shoes, all these clothes, I be buying my clothes. My mom, she like, she buy like my bed, she made my phone bill. But like all the materialistic stuff I got, like I be buying that. Like I be grinding, like I want what I want. Like if I, I feel like I want something and I don't need it, I don't be trying to ask my mother. Like I try to get that on my own. Like yeah, I got MCM, I got brand stuff. I got a lot of shoes for a girl, yeah. I'm that I'm not bougie. Yeah, I don't be wanting McDonald's all the time. Cause I'm maybe bougie. Maybe I don't want the McDonald's menu. <laughs> like, maybe I don't want a, some Payless shoes. Period. Like I mean, yeah. if if I'm willing to grind for, it, I don't see how that makes me bougie. That makes me hardworking and determined. Yep. Thank you. And like 40 million people said I mean, but I guess I'm not mean. I mean, what 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 do you say can make you mean? Like, what do you do that th that like got people thinking that you mean? The only thing I would say is me telling the truth. Like, I'm not just mean for no reason. I don't. Yeah, think. give me an example. Okay. 
like okay how can i say it? um an example example so when it comes to like friends and stuff like i would be totally honest like for example now i used to be friends with old girl or whatever before the situation happened last year now she used to come to school looking like anything right and as a best friend you're supposed to tell your friend or whatever that you know you can't be stepping out like that because people used to talk about her all the time and i used to have to say something to her so people used to come at me because i was trying to help her out like she had come to school with her hair looking like anything i tried to do her hair over and all that and then people would come at me like i'm a bully because i'm trying to help her so yeah and they would say i'm mean or whatever i feel like it's just me being honest and like the type of person that i am like i'm gonna be honest regardless like i want people to be honest with me so i'm going to be honest with you i'm gonna keep it 100 really it fact i i agree with you on that like same thing when it comes to that certain someone like i may come off as mean but like if you like if you really was mature you had the mindset that i got like you would really see like compared to anybody else i really be trying like i meet this person halfway in every situation like yeah i be i be irritating him on purpose i ain't gonna hug you like i do be egging stuff on him, but that don't but, like, I don't do that, like, to, like, bully him or nothing. I just be, like, trying to irritate him. But when it comes to, like, the actual seriousness, I be doing, like, like playfully. But when it comes to the seriousness, I don't be mean. I'm just being honest. Like, what do you want me to hide my feelings? Like, do you want me to hide on how I feel? Like, I'm being honest. It's a lot of females out here that's not going to be 100 with you. It's a lot of females that's not going to communicate with you. And you know how old boys be like, oh, you need to communicate, you need to do this, 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 this. So what do you boys want? So when a female has all of that and she's willing to explain to you and she's willing to meet you halfway in every situ situ every situation and like you don't know, like you know, I don't even know, like it's fine if people find me mean but I I don't see it as being mean like like say what she said like when it comes to a, a certain someone like also I feel like people don't understand people don't understand like if you say something nicely they don't understand like you have to say stuff a certain type of way for it to click in somebody's head like and that's another thing like i have to say it a certain type of way like especially when it comes to a certain someone like they don't understand they don't understand until you say oh this, that, and the third, this is what it need to be, da 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 You got to be serious with it, like, it might come off me, but people don't understand, like, you be nice and try to be nice about the situation or go about the situation in the right way, but nobody understand. So. Yeah, and I mean, it's not like I'm always trying to take the aggressive route. Like, of course, I've, I've, I've tried the nice route first. I tried it first. But, you know, like, nice don't work for everybody. Just kindly telling somebody how you feel, it don't work. Sometimes you got to be more aggressive with your feelings and express yourself just for, like, like she said, to get it to click. Like, you just got to do that sometimes. And, and it is what it is. And you cannot force somebody to grow. But, I mean, you can't force yourself to, like, I mean, you can force yourself to hide your feelings, but I refuse to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're not willing to accept my feelings, whoever you are, I mean, then walk away. Like, get used to it. I feel like it's healthy. I mean, it, it might not be always healthy to like complain, but like I like I try to make it a big deal. Like I'm not trying to complain. I'm simply telling you how I feel. I don't want to complain. Like I'm telling you now, this is how I feel because I don't want to complain in the long run. Now, if I tell you how I feel, you keep doing it. Then that's when it comes to it becomes a complaint. And when it becomes a complaint, I get irritated. And I don't want to talk to you no more. I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to be with you because I could. T I don't. I refuse to keep complaining. <laughs> and then, oh, then it's my fault that I want to walk away. And I tell, I'm telling you the door right there. I try to be route for you. So therefore, from now on, I tell people how I feel and I don't hold back my feelings because I honestly think it like it saves time. 
it saves arguments and it saves complications in the future when you just tell how you feel from the jump. Like, of course, you want to, like, feel some type of way about it. It's, a lot of people don't appreciate your honesty and your bluntness. Females and males. But I'm telling you, like, try just expressing yourself. Like, despite on how that's going to make other people feel, and I'm telling you, it's going to make you become a more confident person in yourself. It's going to give you more, like, high self-esteem. And it's going to help the person realize later on in life, like, I understand now. Okay. Well, that's it, y'all. We just turned that little thing into a 20 minute video. I could talk. <laughs> I just need to come up with some more random videos, though, so I can, like, post more videos. Like, I could talk, y'all. I, I could talk y'all here, though. I just need some more, some more content to do. Like, comment down below what videos y'all want to see. Like, let me know. You can do a nice one. Well, all right, this is all for the video. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, and we out. It's not Jay.